So <clears throat> today I'm here with my second son, C, again. And we'll be going over Thank this you, time. Uh, anyways, he, oh, his name is Archie's the Goat due to his unfortunate loss to Archimedes. So today we'll be going over who the top five most overrated debaters are. And uh, as usual, my son will go first. So C, do you have a top five list? Yeah. So I suppose number one, probably Infinity. Not probably, definitely Infinity. Uh -huh. um, now, the truth of the matter is, is that Infinity has done nothing to warrant his position as tier one slash tier zero of people's tier lists. Um, like, it's actually incredible. Um, if we're talking about like judgments, because I know a lot of people like to talk about judgments, he's lost to Foucault on judgment from Apollo and another person judgment. Bridge. Um, he's lost to Jester multiple times. Like his own friend Bridge said he's lost to Foucault. Like it's incredible. I don't understand how you can consistently say that you're better than these people, like three tiers, and that you sit up on topics that you claim to be good on, like Crossverse, which is what he's literally known for. Crossverse, I guess, a bit of irony as well. Um, so that's like incredible. Um, I don't know how he's done that. And like even on IRL, you know, if you want to go by polls, he's lost to Divinity on polls. Um, he had to delete the Julian poll, I think, or like he was about to lose to Julian on polls, something like that. Um, it was just incredible. Like he's lost to pretty much all the people in IRL. Um, in his most notable debate for Divinity, he said, the sense of all considered things is God. Like he said it verbatim, he said, Retar. Let me say it again. The set of all contingent things is God. The set of all contingents is what we label as God. There you How go. How do you know that so precisely? I proved it analytically speaking that there exists a being called God, where if anything contingent exists, therefore God exists. That follows. That's what he said verbatim. Um, so he thinks that everything that's contingent is God. That's kind of yeah, it just mm -hmm. like, you know, he he runs around in the forest and prays to the gods and goes like. Okay, so is there a second person, a runner-up, who you think is almost as overrated as Infinity, in your opinion? Um, a second person that's almost as overrated as Infinity? Wait, let me look at the tier list in the server quickly, because I have some ideas, but I don't want to make any final placements. Okay, okay, okay. And you, should should I pause ahead, the recording until then? No, go ahead if you want this, go ahead if you want this. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, I have um a different list to most people, so first of all, of course, I think it'd be kind of disrespectful to not have the um, what's it called the most overrated debater on here. So first, we have Archimedes, right? So everyone likes to go around saying this guy's so philosophically competent. He's so graced by the gods on philosophy, but in reality, you realize that he has no actual substance to him. Aside from saying, I don't presuppose that. Now, asking why over and over again, you know, doesn't make you a good like, arguer because it's way easier to win debates when you're on the defense rather than when you're on the offense. So, again, asking why, 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 why isn't really skillful. Hence why I don't think it's that good. The second one, of course, it's Aeroflame. I said it in a, another video. I'm saying it here. Aeroflame, not only does he have no good feet, he went relative to Noodles. Noodles is an idiot. Noodles is the person who is right above him on here. And the reason why is because Noodles somehow convinced loads of people that he's the king of Naruto, that he supposedly beat six. You know, the, like, he had thousands of people flocking to watch his videos, even though he's like incompetent in every single sense of the word. So because he's been able to convince so many people, you have have to say that noodles is the most overrated anyone else would be disrespectful to the lineage that he's brought he's brought up then the other person is hunter being our hunter killer now if anyone here can name me six hunter feats then i will pay you in cash i will pay you and i will retire your family right and the reason being is because not only has he not debated a single combatant individual he just runs around and he stat pats in all of these anime servers using his bootleg entry-level philosophy knowledge i could read two pages of a michael humor book and acknowledge the guy now, if you realize he's one of those guys who mainly relies on knowledge, has no form of argumentation. So when I say he's an overrated debater, I don't mean he isn't smart because he might be. I don't know the guy. However, I'm just saying he's just not good as a debater. Then we have Tensei. Again, this guy has no recordings. He goes into Crossroads like, and it's not even that I dislike the guy. He goes into Crossroads servers and he stat pats, right? He stat pats all of the idiots. He stat pats Smoothie. He stat pats Official, right? He stat pats low level debaters and then all of a sudden people have the guy in tier 2. Then you ask him, how did he get into tier 2? And then they tell you, he beat B and our hunter killer. Who is that? I don't know. So again, beating loads of like, uh, bad people, you're yeah, being considered to be good. Telltale sign, good evidence for you being overrated. Then 
the final person, last but not least, we have um. Uh, anyways, right, but the last person I, I there wasn't really counted, but the last person was simply, and we know who it is it's Infinity. Now I don't dislike Infinity as much as C does. The issue is right, <laughs> Infinity. People give him a way better reputation than what he actually is. I've seen people say he beats Cosmic Skeptic. I've seen people say he beats Sinta. I've seen people say that he beats loads of people who he isn't actually above. Infinity doesn't really have knowledge who is comparative to them. His rhetoric, I don't know, maybe I have a different standard of rhetoric to this community, but his rhetoric doesn't really compare. Now, I can agree that Infinity is way better than most of Skypea because most of Skypea involves four-year-olds, 17-year-olds who dropped out of high school and couldn't actually think properly, or 20-year-olds who actually are failures in life and will never go anywhere so when that's the type of competition that you're going against it's very very easy to see why infinity has gotten such a high reputation right infinity when he comes into irl he says a lot of really really silly stuff as he said himself the set of all contingent things is gone then we have wyphon who clearly takes inspiration from infinity also <laughs> saying that the set of all contingent things is god so maybe he's a panpsychist maybe he likes to worship trees but I don't think that seeing such silly stuff about philosophy actually should warrant you being tier 1. Though Infinity does actually read it a lot, it doesn't seem like he's actually applying it. You can say it's because he's rusty. I don't really think so. He also lost to Fox, so whether or not the laws of logic are objective. Now, maybe it's because loads of people in this community are philosophically incompetent, hence why you see loads of idiots winning polls against people who are way smarter than them. But his performance against Julian is something that I can't bat an eye at, and it almost made me even consider taking him out to tier 3 and moving into tier 4 but look that's the end of my list my son C can go ahead and uh, yeah that's it for the father between the duo C go ahead uh, yeah I'm the grandfather by the way but any look, um, ways okay dude so I guess number 2 placement I'm gonna try keep this short and sweet um, after infinity I forgot to mention infinity doesn't think that photons exist as well um, like, like overall if you look at all of his performances against people that actually do philosophy um, it's like it's quite evident that he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, my second placement is probably going to be very controversial to people. My second placement is probably Beelgeus. Uh, it's not to say that Beelgeus doesn't know what he's talking about, but it is to say that Beelgeus doesn't deserve the placement that he has on most people's tier list. And the reason why is because there's this epidemic, and I like to call it uh, Trust Me Bro Epidemic, right? I just made that name up on the spot, but you'll see what I mean, right? And niggas will say, look, Beelgeus tier one, uh, and they'll see what people put him at tier one, and then they'll put him at tier one, and you ask them why, they'll have no fucking clue. Um, the reason why I have no fucking clue is not because Beauty is in tier one, it's just the fact that they don't have any reason to put him in tier one, apart from someone else's opinion on him. Um, Beauty has really done nothing to warrant his placement at tier one. Um, I suppose the best thing he's done is debate Astro, um, this like Catholic on the Trinity, and even in that conversation, he didn't do as well as I thought he would. Um, I think he got cliffed on the meanings of the Latin terms, like S-A-I-D and S-A-N or whatever. So, like, once again, I'm not saying he's a bad debater. He probably knows a lot more than me. Maybe. Possibly. Um, improbably. But um, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's a bad debater. It's just the fact that I don't think he warrants or has the position that people put in at. Um, the third placement... Damn. Let me think, man. Oh, third placement's Arcano. Uh, I don't know why people think Arcano's like tier zero. Like, I've been looking at tier list and he's like tier zero. I'm like... Why is he tier zero? And like nobody can tell me. Um, the reason why is because he doesn't deserve to be in tier zero. And um, even in the Infinity and Arcana versus Synth and Apollo debate, all he was doing was really just cheerleading. And like every ten minutes or so, he would say, "You retard!" You know, we were talking about retard. Um, so like, I don't, I don't think he's that good of a debater. Um, there's no real feats to attribute to him to make him a good debater. Um, so that, that's my third placement. I think it was uh, my fourth placement. Damn, bro, I'm overrated debaters. My fourth placement, uh, let me see. Uh, fourth placement, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't, uh, I don't really uh, know. You <laughs> don't have overrated. like people, uh, let me think, let me think. Hmm, that's tough, you know. Aside from my list, because my list is the best, don't you think that, uh, who, who could it be? Being man. Yeah, Fourth person, your time, your time. Anyways, look, look, look. In hand. So the fourth, actually, no, I'm gonna do six. The fourth, fifth, and sixth placements on the list are uh -huh. Seth, Trini, and Demi, respectively. Right, and that's the fucking order. Seth has no business, no 
business at bad take, the bad take. Tell Ed, shut the fuck up. Any debate that Seth has had on any sort of topic that isn't anime, anime, come on, anime, anime, right? He's done fucking horribly in. And I'm pretty sure he had a vegan conversation. He's really bad. Oh, yeah, he um, did be really and, bad. And aside from that, I don't think that he's tier zero. Like, for example, I think that someone in this com currently, people in this com currently could probably take him on a lot of topics in Naruto and slash or Dragon Ball Z or whatever and do quite well against him on, right? Because once again, these topics aren't things you need to be incredibly argumentative on to win. You just need to know knowledge of the verse and have good foundations. So no, I don't think he's tier one. I don't think it's warranted to place him near people that actually study logical structures and uh, logicality and metaphysicality and uh, metaphysicality and uh, metaphysicality. Same thing with Trini. I also watched Trini debate fucking Apollo. And like, if you just make their tones the same, the way he debates is the same exact way that the way everyone else in his community debates. Just the same spurg shit, like trying to scream over the person. Um, it's not really skillful at all. Mm -hmm. um, and Demi is overrated in my opinion because i've heard the way demi talks to people i've had conversations with him um and he just doesn't sound as smart as people yeah like you can think that he won that's fine what i'm saying is that the way he debates is just um like it's, it's very basic the way he debates is the way everyone else debates um so i, I don't see why i would claim above anyone else like archie or something huh? um and then the sixth person is demi demi he said he doesn't like British people he'll say that he has like this predisposition to hate people like me I've never spoken to this guy before, in my life before that point. So he's in this tier, he's in this um tier list. He's in this ranking. So I can say fuck you, Demi. You're like thirty years old. Stop trying to shit talk me. Um, if you want to debate me, just let me know. If you want to find me out, just let me know. DM me. We can box. Yeah, is that um yeah? Like and subscribe or something like that, bro.